ceiling though. The ceiling uh, is in uh, a state where you can see the beautiful decorations and, and uh, that were there in 1860, but it's kind of black and it's actually blackened by coal dust. Uh, and there's other ceilings in the home that have been cleaned, but this one hasn't. And so we've gone up and looked at what it would take to, uh, to clean the ceiling. Some of the different of damage here we actually have an audience that will be coming in to try to match the patterns. Um, to try to try to uh, uh, keep the ceiling as much as we possibly can, but a lot of the house has damaged work, work like this and this beautiful ornateness. But uh, but it's re definitely restored. Uh, this is the original stained glass windows. They are cracked, and uh, we're going to see what we can do about that as well. And then the entry alcove need some restoration as well. The wallpaper is actually original, we believe, but uh, this, this room has sustained uh, quite a bit of water damage over the years. Uh, we, we're doing some restoration in it now. What we're doing specifically right now is taking the windows out, rebuilding the windows and putting them back. The, the glass is original and it's much thicker and if you look at it carefully you can see the rippling in the glass so you know that it's original glass. And so that, that glass is being saved, the windows are actually being rebuilt one by one and, and putting back in and we're not quite done with them. Yeah, we, we didn't actually expect to do that right away, but um, our expert came in and told us that they were about to be lost and fall on the ground and of course break, so uh, we made it a priority and shifted what we were doing so that, that, that those windows could be saved as original. So. Uh, th this bar room will not be open this summer. Uh, to the public because uh, it's, it's going to be under uh, heavy restoration for a while. We'll just put a nice ribbon across it saying, please look, but don't come in because we're under restoration. Uh, we will be hiring folks to actually replicate the molding uh, to try to replace that. That's a little tr more tricky to do, but, uh, but that's one of the next steps. The house uh, had a major um, structural issue in the 1990s where this corner all the way up to the third floor was damaged. And uh, by some records of some folks have told us that uh, tree branches are actually growing into the house. This side also. Right? And, and that side also. The farmer owner has restored it structurally, and the house is very strong structurally, but, but it needs a lot of architectural restoration, especially in the corners here. This room, this room is the dining room, and it has been restored. You can see the difference in the ceilings. Uh, the ceiling was nothing but nothing more than clean. The coal dust was removed. You can see uh, how good a condition it is, and the bright colors that were there. Uh, the ornateness of these ceilings is just just stunning. And then there's uh, you know the, the fresco uh, working here. We've had to use the fall patterns that were actually in the fresco. And the butler's uh, sink are actually made from silver because in 1860 they didn't have chrome and copper. So the, the, the silver the silver faucets and they're still there. This is the kitchen. Uh, what's notable here are these are the original baking ovens. There was a pot belly stove that sat here, and uh, which is it was just in the basement actually. And uh, the chimney would heat up and you would uh, use this for your baking. Below us is um, what they call the summer kitchen. So the house actually has two kitchens, a summer kitchen and a winter kitchen. That one's in great disrepair. Huh? And that was a major disrepair, but it was the summer kitchen. And there was a, there was a, the chimney extends down there and they had a, a place for cooking down there. And, it, and then there was a small dumbwaiter that would move the food up and down. 